Folks, we have an update from yesterday. When we first brought you this news about Javalde, Texas, we first reported it was 14 people shot. But since then, that number has grown up. Anguished families waited late into the muggy Texas night on Tuesday to find out whether their children were among those killed by an 18-year-old gunman's rampage at an elementary school in the city of Uvalde hours earlier. Armed with multiple weapons, the gunman who attended a nearby high school killed at least 19 children and two adults at Robb Elementary School. The authorities said in the deadliest school shooting since 20 children and six educators were killed in Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut. Ten years ago, several other children were injured in the shooting at Robb Elementary, including at least one 10-year-old who remained in critical condition at a nearby hospital. At least one teacher was among the dead and the gunman, whom officials identified as Salvador Ramos. He died at the scene. A 66-year-old woman who officials said was the gunman's grandmother had also been shot at her home in Uvalde shortly before the massacre and was also in critical condition. Rob Elementary lies in a rural area dotted with desert willows and big tooth maples about 85 miles west of San Antonio. Census data shows that more than 40% of the people in the neighborhood around the school have lived in the same house for at least nearly 30 years. Classes were supposed to let out on Thursday for the summer. Only tennis and fine arts were on the school program's extracurriculum activities. But instead of summer plans, parents were faced with the unthinkable Tuesday, waiting for hours for the dreaded confirmation about the fate of their children. Some haven't provided DNA swabs to provide their relationship. Swabs could be heard outside the Civic Center which was used as a makeshift reunification center. Some struggled to walk back to their cars after receiving the news. On Tuesday evening, Pastor Y.J. Jimenez at First Baptist Church from nearby Brackettville walked into a Uvalde hospital and hugged two of the congregants who lost a 10-year-old grandchild. He tried to comfort them with words from the scripture. He whose mind stayed on you should be in perfect peace, Pastor Jimenez told them as they embraced. Sometimes it's about the presence and the prayers. In times like these, all you can do is cry. It was not immediately clear whether the shooting took place in one classroom or several, and officials did not release the names or ages of the students killed or of the teacher. At least three children, a nine-year-old and two ten-year-olds, were in critical condition. They were taken to University Health, a hospital in San Antonio, for treatment. The massacre in Uvalde, which police said unfolded shortly before noon local time, amplified an already anguished national debate over firearm legislations and the stupefying tally of gun violence in America. Even before the pandemic, the United States had more guns than citizens. The pace of gun buying has risen over the last two years, and so has the toll of gun violence, especially on children. That is true even in states such as New York that have relatively strong gun laws. Ten days before Yavalde became a focal of national attention, a gunman fatally shot 10 people inside a Buffalo, New York grocery store. On Tuesday, politicians and celebrities across the United States limited the violence in Uvalde, a display of grief and that has become a depressingly familiar American ritual. Senator Chuck Schumer, Democrat of New York and the majority leader, moved to clear the way to force votes on legislation that would strengthen background checks for gun purchasers. But Republicans in Congress have blocked such measures at the previous mass shootings. One of the stunchiest opponents has been Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas. On Tuesday, Mr. Cruz said the United States had seen too many of these shootings, but also that he opposed the idea of restricting Americans' constitutional rights. On the state level, Texas has forged ahead with some of the country's least restrictive gun laws in the United States. In 2021, two years after twin mass shootings left more than two dozen people dead in El Paso, Midland, and Odessa, 
Governor Greg Abbott signed a wide-ranging law that made the state one of the largest to essentially eliminate most restrictions on the ability to carry handguns. Mr. Cruz and Mr. Abbott are both scheduled to speak at the National Rifle Association annual meeting in Houston on Friday. While the community grapples with the aftermath which took place as students and teachers were preparing to start summer break this week, local leaders and organizations have mobilized. Two local funeral homes, Hillcrest Memorial Funeral Home and Russian Estates Knowles Mortuary, said in social media posts that they would not charge families of victims for their funeral service. A GoFundMe has established a hub where those who want to give money can safely donate to verify fundraisers for people affected by Rob Elementary School shooting.